Now, let us discuss about Church Turing Thesis, which can also be called as Church Thesis. This concept is a theoretical concept. So, there are 1, 2, 3, 5 points. I will try to explain all these 5 points in detail. So, first point, any problem that can be solved by a computer can also be solved by Turing machine. In this concept, we are demonstrating between the computer and the Turing machine. So, here the point is, if we solve a problem with the help of the computer, then the same problem can be solved using Turing machine also. That means, if a computer performs 100 operations, 100 computations, then Turing machine can also perform all the 100 computations. Next point, Church Turing thesis states that Turing machine compute exactly same things that the computer computes. So that means if the computer performs 100 operations, then all the 100 operations will be performed by Turing machine also. So here the computing functionality of the Turing machine and the computer are same. Next point, unfortunately this thesis that means the church Turing thesis was not proven but it was but it is believed based on some evidences. So here there is no theorem, no proof per church Turing thesis. It is not proven but we have some evidences. So based on those evidences we can, stay, we can say that this is correct. The thesis is correct, but unfortunately, this thesis is not practically proved. Next point, no one has yet suggested a problem that is solved by a computer, but for which Turing mission program cannot be written. So here the point is, a computer can perform the operation, but the same operation cannot be done by Turing mission. So for that there is no point, there is no problem, there is, uh, there is no theorem for that. Okay? So the computer is going to perform an operation, but the same operation will not be performed by Turing machine. So likewise we don't have any theorem. So last point, alternative models have been proposed for computations, but none of them is more powerful than the Turing machine. So there are various models, uh, in place of Turing machine we can use all those models also, but none of them is more powerful than the Turing machine. So that means Turing machine is more powerful than all the conventional models. So that's why nowadays we are using Turing machine only. So this is about the thesis, Church Turing thesis. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel as well as share the channel with your friends. Thanks for watching.